I felt good, you know, just uh, just trying to help the team on both ends, just talking to guys on defense, and them, them talking to me, helping me know where to be and stuff. I felt good. Some of what you're doing here past the basket, getting, getting some beats from Dante, so how much of that is knowing what the terminology you talked about or just instinct playing off? Yeah, just read and react. Just uh, him driving with his eyes up, me seeing my man cutting, just like that. How much of the game today was just sort of instinct and read and react across the board, basically just stay on it whenever he's out there and then find your spots on offense where to make plays? Oh, for me, yeah, like yeah. everything really. Just trying to, new terminology, new everything. Just trying to figure everything out as fast as I can. So a lot of read and react today. How did you feel like you played the first time? I felt good. We won the game, so. And we're up a lot, a lot of the game by a lot, so definitely felt good. What did it feel like to get the, the crowd was very enthusiastic for you, basically all the game lost? Mm-hmm. Just feeling with that and that. Oh, yeah, it felt great, you know. Just amazing fans, amazing atmosphere, amazing arena, like just everything amazing. You will. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I think I don't, whoever was on the court just have helped affect winning. So that was my, that's all I'm trying to do when I'm out there. And I think, yeah, we went on some nice runs, got stops, uh, forced some turnovers, run on transition, and we just moved the ball, got good shots, hustled, just did anything to win. Just before the game up on the board, it looked like Dante was kind of pointing out some stuff to you during warmouts, during warmups. Were you literally learning stuff? <laughs> yeah, even during the game, they were telling me, go here. Do this, yeah. They were helping me out for sure, a lot of them, and I'm thankful for it. I don't know if you're asked already, but their intros sounded pretty loud. Where we were, but hear that? Feel when you hear that? Oh uh, no, I just yeah. I appreciate all the fan love, you know. Great fans, just I definitely feel it. What do you think? It's what areas do you think it's going to take for that you'll need to maybe bridge the gap to get on the same page as everybody? Where, where do you think you need to kind of get on the same page? Oh, I just think day by day. Each day, I'm going to get better and better with learning everything, learning the terminology, learning the plays, learning the sets. Learning, yeah, I'll learn every day. I think Precious, Malachi, and I will all just learn every day. Yeah, people say that, you know, NBA is a copycat league. Everybody runs the same stuff, and it's just all different things. Would you, from, from, I guess, a couple of days here, does it feel that way? Uh, some stuff is the same, some stuff is different, yeah. I think every there's similarities and there's differences, I think, with every scheme. I didn't think a lot of them were fouls, but it's, it's all good. Were you disappointed? Uh, yeah, I mean, I want to play, but. That was a question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what's your approach on Edwards, particularly a couple of projections where you have your steal and I think you walk? Uh, what's your approach? Oh, just be aggressive with him. You know, he's a great player, um, super talented. So just be aggressive with him, force him into difficult shots. You know, just pressure him. Don't give him space. When you come as like a, a big part of a big trade, um, there's expectations, I guess. Do you feel pressure because of that? No, I just try to help my team win, whatever team I'm on. I've never been traded before, so it was, it was the first time. So I just wanted to help the team win. Hey, you said you just got here yesterday. And you said you get to call for tips. Are you just in a hotel room studying? Yeah, I didn't leave my room yesterday. I got in. I had to do like physicals and stuff, meet with medical and meet, meet with all a bunch of people. So I got in last night. Uh, yeah, phone calls and stuff. Looked at some stuff. I then had to go to bed. I know <laughs> it's okay. It was all good. It was all good. When you fouled out, the crowd gave you a pretty nice cheer. Is that a, I don't, are you tuned into that? Or are you mad? Like I'm, I'm mad I'm leaving the game. Well, yeah, I was confused about the foul. I didn't know what was going on, and I was confused. They said it was on me, and then I was walking off. I I, I heard it. I appreciated it. Mm-hmm. Did you have to celebrate? How did I celebrate? Yeah, just in my room. By yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you scored on backdoor cuts, I think, more than once. I mean, just what do you look for to, to decide? Okay, now it's time to, to, to make that cut. Uh, just reading my teammates, seeing if they pick the ball up, or seeing where the help defense is coming from, and. Where I, reading my man as well, seeing if he turns his head, or if he's like, too, if he's flat, face cut in front of him, just reading the game. Uh, 
Uh, besides the win, I guess the fans, you know, the fan love, definitely that. Any specific play? Any specific play? Yeah. Uh, maybe the uh, – Julius had an N1 at the end. Yeah, it was an N1, I think. Yeah, it was a great play. And sealed the win.